I think that uh, with classic yachts, um, there's the obvious thing where it's the beauty or the condition and how it looks and how it attracts you. But I think something that you don't really realise until you're owning a classic yacht is just how important the history and the provenance of the boat can be. And with Infanta, when we sailed her uh, from Morocco over to St Bart's, up and down the Caribbean, then through to New York, we met so many people who knew the boat. They came to the boat and said, I've, I've raced on Infanta in the late 60s. Uh, there were stories of her being owned by somebody who um, ran certain materials around in her in the Caribbean and that really adds to the whole interest in a classic yacht and, and certainly with Infanta and it was really topped once we got to Martha's Vineyard and we met the son of the man who actually had her built and he um, was lovely and he came on board, he'd sailed on board when he was a young boy and uh, that somehow completed the circle so I think with Infanta the great thing is is not just that she's extremely good looking but just the way that she captures everybody's heart and has such a great provenance.